Good evening, I'm David Warnock. Thank you, Ignite Baltimore, and uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I, wanna, I started a foundation a year ago uh, to challenge the culture of low expectations in Baltimore. And I want to talk to you tonight about unintended consequences and the high cost of indifference. Let me start with four numbers. The first number that I want to talk to you about is $37 million. That's the amount of state-owned child support in five, just five zip codes around the Park Heights area, owed mostly by men to the state of Maryland. And you're probably asking yourself, how is this possible? Imagine if you're a young man, eighth grade education, a couple of kids, just got released for prison, probably a nonviolent offense, probably a drug crime, like 4,000 young guys each year. The second number I want you to think about is $22,000. That's the average amount of child support that that individual, that non-custodial parent, owes to the state of Maryland. It's owed directly to the state. It's not owed directly to the mom. That support's been ticking away the whole time you were locked up. It's going to reimburse mom for the cost of public benefits. $22,000 is probably more than you ever earned legitimately in your whole life. The next number I want you to think about is $10.73. Now, I'm the chairman of the Center for Urban Families, and we have a wonderful workforce development program, and $10.73 is the average that one of our graduates makes when they go through our program. By the way, I didn't tell you that if you have that back child support, you can't have a driver's license. You can't have a state license, so if you want to be a barber, forget about that. So getting that $10.73 job is hard, and keeping it is even harder. Also keep in mind that you can't open a bank account, because the state will use your social security number and garnish that money. If you file taxes, the state will go after that too. They'll intercept those as well. The last number I want you to think about is $3.75. $3.75 is 65% of the $10.73 an hour that you make. The state, the good news is, is they'll only take 65% of that money. So you've got to live on $3.75 an hour. You don't have a driver's license, you don't have a bank account, your kids need food, what do you think you're going to do? Well, everybody in this room and everybody that lives in urban Baltimore knows exactly what you're going to do for the most part. You're going to go back to what got you in trouble in the first place. And you're probably going to get rearrested. And the state's going to be paying $37,000 to lock you up again. And guess what? The child support clock just keeps ticking. And think about this. Maryland is one of the few states that outsource the collection of that child support, money that they're probably never going to get, to a for-profit company by the name of Maximus. Maximus' job is to collect until one of two things happens. You either pay or you die. So imagine a three-year stint in Jessup turns into a life sentence of penury in our city. And that is the high cost of unintended consequences and the high cost of indifference. These mindless child support policies force young men back into the drug trade. It makes no sense and we can do an awful lot better. Along with the Center for Urban Families, there are a number of organizations that are starting to address this issue and I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the lawyers and judges who give a lot of time and pro bono effort on behalf of a number of individuals. But these are piecemeal efforts and they simply don't do enough. We have a more systematic solution. Give men a restart, actually create some real free cash flow for the state, because they're not going to collect that money anyways. Treat these arrearages like we treat J.P. Morgan debt, or treat a mortgage. Restructure it. Here's how. The state reduces the principal amount of these arrearages by 50% and extends the maturity to 10 or 15 years. Remember, this is debt that the state is probably not going to collect anyways, but this way they get to collect it. The individual is required to do three things. One, pay current child support on a timely basis. Two, complete a job training program with an outfit that has a great record and can actually place that person into a job. And three, pay that restructured child support over a period of time. It's a win-win. The state collects money, recidivism goes down, Fewer guys get locked up. We bring young men back from the netherworld of drug abuse and crime. But most importantly, a family gets a father. 
At my foundation, we're looking at these choices that are made by people in our city every single day. We can simply do better, and I wanted to alert you tonight to the cost of indifference in our city. Thank you very much.